Physics into Math Lesson 18.3, this is part two. Number four, so I'm just learning how to steer a remote control car. On the first side, see the car travels from the side, hitting the wall. On the second try, it travels six inches before our third try, it travels three and a half yards before it reaches the other side of the room. How many yards does the car travel in the three tracks? The circle is 27 inches, the next thing is 36 and a half feet, the next thing is three and a half yards, and they want to know how many yards does the car travel in three tries. So basically, we need to get all of our answers to what? Into yards, right? They're looking for yards. Okay, so 27 inches. So, how many um, inches are in a yard? 36. 36. So, this would actually be 27 over 36, right? Okay, because it would be 27 divided by 36. So, that equals what?
21 divided by 12 equals what? 21 over 12, which equals what? 9 so one and three fourths. Yeah, one and eight. On your number six stems, the first computer called the electric electronic numerical integrator and calculator had a mass of about twenty seven thousand two hundred kilograms. The mass of a certain model of a smartphone is about one hundred fifty grams. Which is the greater mass? Okay, so by how many kilograms? So we need to basically, um, this is what the calculator weighs, right? Okay, the smartphone is about 150 grams, okay, which has the greater uh, mass, and then they want to know by how many kilograms. So basically, we need to convert the 150 grams into what? Kilograms. So one kilogram equals how many grams? Hey, if I have my box, guys. So here's kilogram. Oops, there's a kilogram in here. Is hectogram. Here is decagram. Here is what? Um, here's our gram. Here is our decagram. Here's our centigram, and here's our milligram. So how far apart are they? A thousand, right? So one thousand grams, right? Okay. So am I going to multiply or um, divide? Multiply because I'm going from smaller to a larger. So this is equivalent to one hundred fifty, and then one, two, three zeros, right? 50,000 kilograms, so, or grams, sorry. Oh. Yeah, smaller to large. Yeah, sorry, I went the wrong way. Okay. So, we go one, one, two, three places. So, which one has the greater weight? Oh, okay. I see what we got going on here. Because we forgot it's a multi step. So there's 200,000 of those smartphones. Okay, right. So, but we need to convert this first. So this would be equal to 15 hundredths of a kilogram, right? Okay, and if we took that times 200,000. So what's two times 15? 30, and then we have how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five. And then how many decimal places? Two, right? Okay, so the 200,000 smartphones equals what? 30,000 kilograms, so which one weighs more? The calculator or the smartphones? The smartphones. And then we need to take 30,000 minus 27,200. So this would be zero, zero, this becomes a 10, this becomes a nine, and this becomes a two. So eight, two. So 2,800 kilograms, right? Okay, all right, number seven, model of mathematics. For an experiment, Ash would pour three tenths of a liter of water into a container. He adds 50 milliliters of vegetable oil and two for 25 milliliters of colored detergent. How many times as much water than vegetable oil and detergent does Ash use? Okay, so write an equation to show the number of milliliters of water he uses. So we need to convert this three liters. So one liter equals how many milliliters? A thousand. A thousand. 
Okay, so we have to move this to what? Are we going larger to smaller, smaller to larger? Larger to smaller, so we're going to multiply, right? So I'm going to loop it one, two, three. So this is also equivalent to 300 milliliters, right? So basically, we have 0.3 times 1,000. So we looped at one, two, three spots and put a zero. So that equals 300 milliliters. Okay. So write an equation to show the number of milliliters of vegetable oil and detergent. So we're going to use 50 plus what? 25 equals 75 milliliters of those both. How many times as much water is vegetable oil and detergent does Ashik use? So what are we going to do? 300 divided by what? 75. Okay. So put 300 in my house divided by 75. 75 does it go into 3? 30? Nope. So 300. Four times. Let's try it. Four times five is zero. Carry the two. Four times seven is twenty-eight plus two is. So how many times? So put some on the wrong. No, four times as much. Okay, number eight. Lamar subtracts one hundred meters from one kilometer. He writes the difference in a single digit followed by a unit measurement. What digit and what unit? Okay, so let's figure out um, how many meters are in a kilometer. So one kilometer equals what? How many meters? Um, a thousand, right? So this one meter, they subtract it, right? Or 100, so they subtract 100 meters, so minus 100 equals what? 900 meters, but they only have two uh, or one whole number, right? So what would our whole number be here? Nine, right? What place value, um, if we went up here, so here would be our meters, right? And we need to go over two spots. So what spot am I at now? What's that called? Hecto, right? So it'd be a hecto meter in this case. We would need to get rid of those zeros because they said they only used a single digit, right? Okay. Number nine, attend to precision. Danielle brings up square picture. She has seven eighths yard of wood trim left over. How many feet of wood trim did Daniel have when he first started? Explain. Okay. So, first of all, we need to take that 20 and 1 and 2,500 or 1,000 times what? How many sides are there, guys? Four. Four. So, we need to take it times four. So zero, carry the two, four times two is eight, plus two is 10, carry the one, four times one is four, plus one is five, four times zero is zero, four times two is eight. And I have three decimal places. So that is 80 and one half inches, right? Okay. And then she has seven eighths of a yard. So we need to take seven eighths times how much, or how many inches are in a yard?